Hi, what the video you're about to see, I'm going to show you how to make these bunny pictures. And I want to let you know that in the video, I'm showing you how to cut them out on the Cricut um, cutting machine. But if you don't have one, that's perfectly okay. You can just print out a picture of a bunny on the from the internet and just cut it out with your scissors. So I just want to I don't mention that in the video and I just want to make that clear that you don't need a Cricut cutting machine to make this picture. So now I hope you enjoy Celebration Elevation and I'm Teresa and here is the video. I know it seems early but Easter is right around the corner. We want to get a few things done before Easter hits, a few decorations done. And I want to show you this. This is something I made a whole video on. I made a video last week. This video that I'm going to redo right now, I made it last week. And then the weekend when I was trying to edit it, the files were corrupt. So, yeah. So anyway, I made this last week on the video. I'm going to make a new one. So this was a bunny, you see. This is the screen that it, my home screen for the Cricut. I'm just going to tell it I want images to, sh to show me images. I want a free image. Um, and the material is cardstock. So paper cardstock. And then I think that's all I need to tell it right now. Um, so now I'm just going to do on the search bar. I'm just going to tell it I want a bunny. Um, and it gives me this one. I wonder if it's different for a rabbit or a B B I T. Nope. <laughs> Same one. Okay. So we'll do this one. Okay. Add to canvas. Okay. So I want this guy and I'm going to choose him. Say add to canvas. Okay. There he goes. Okay. Then I'm going to take my, my light grip mat. Um, my last one I did was pink, so I'm going to do this one on green paper, like this. And now I'm going to stop this for a second so I can show you how it's working with the Cricut machine. Okay, so here it is. Um, I'm just going to, this. I have the Cricut Maker, there are several of them. This one is a very nice one that my husband gave me for... Mother's Day actually two years ago, but it was the month before my son's wedding, which took place here, and so I didn't have time to learn how to use it. So that's that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna load it into my machine like this. I know the very very basics, but that's it. Okay. And now there's a place up here on my screen and it just you just click make it. And how will it load all of your materials? Can you see it? Oh my gosh, I'm so go sorry guys. Oh, there we go. We can see. I'm just gonna push it and then we'll put it back here. Okay, so. What? Why is it still blinking? Mm. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait, you're gonna cut, right? Why aren't you cutting? What's happened? It was blinking a minute ago. Oh, because I closed my computer? I wonder if that's what happened. Yes, I closed my computer. I think that was it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Now it's cutting. And it's a really simple shape, so it just takes a second. And now I tell it to unload. Okay. I'm back. My Cricut is put back in his little home right over there on my desk, on my table. And we're gonna start with the rest of the project. Like I said, I did this one last week, and so it was green material, and I did a pink 
a little bunny on it. So this time I'm going to do kind of the opposite. I'm going to use um, side is the pink material and then the little bunny that I just cut out with the Cricut machine which is just a very simple picture. And then I bought these at Dollar Tree. Bought a couple frames and they're white. So you can absolutely choose to paint them if you want. You could even just leave them white. It's not, there's nothing wrong with them. I just, I just liked, it's fun to change things. So that's why I did this. So the first thing I'm doing is I am going to take the backing and I'm just going to use this. Let's see. So I want it to be, I think this is going to be exactly five by seven. Yeah. Uh, Yep, five by seven. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut out from the from the fabric five by seven. I'm gonna take out of the material. I'm gonna lay it flat. So I'm just gonna lay the material down here. And I what I want to do what you, what you need to do is cut it bigger than the five by seven. So you want to give it like around a half an inch on each side. So you're gonna be cutting. Instead of five inches on the bottom, you're going to give six inches on the bottom. And so let me do that first. And I'm just using a rotary cutter for material, but you could absolutely just use, mark it with a pen and a ruler and then cut it with the scissors. Just mark the, the wrong side of the material. Okay, and then the other side, I'm going to do eight inches. So let's see. Make it flat, flat. Okay. And straight. And I'm just going to do it like that. And so there's my 8 inches by 6 inches. So you can see now what we'll do is we'll just be folding over the edges to cover this up. And that's what I did in my project. And the one thing I did get over here ready for me is my um, double stick tape, which I need. So, got it now. So my double stick tape right here, and I'm just gonna place the material, make sure I'm doing the right side this way, so it's showing. And then this is so simple. You could do it, you know, with glue or whatever you want. I'm, oh no, my, my tape is out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I don't think I need to do it with double stick tape. I think I could do it just with regular tape. So, uh, guys, why does this stuff happen to me every, every time I'm filming? <laughs> why do I always make these crazy mistakes? Okay, so I'm just going to fold it over just make sure you pull it tightly, which was kind of nice with the double stick, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm just doing it with regular tape. And I'm going to do both ends first. I'm not even going to bother with the mitered edge corners because it doesn't matter. It's not going to show. It's not going to matter. And the mitered would be where we're sort of tucking it in so that it, it's not, it's not just folding it each way. It's mitering it. I don't know how to explain that. Okay, so I'm just going to tape over it this way. And this.
Okay, so I used tape. You can see it's straight on there. So we're going to, sorry, um, we are going to now take the bunny and I'm going to glue him on here. And you can do it either direction, obviously. I think I'm trying to decide. Maybe I'll do this one, um, like portraits, portrait instead of landscape like the other one is. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And I just used like little, these little glue, um, not glue, they're like double-sided tape, but they're spongy. So um, they just give it a little, I guess they're called dimension, dimension tape, dimension squares. I don't know the t technical term. <laughs> Uh, you guys, I'm so much smarter than I appear in these videos, I promise. <laughs> but I like to keep my mistakes in here. Not the kind of mistakes like, well, all, I guess all of them. I keep my mistakes in the video instead of editing them out. Because I just want to show you that it doesn't matter if you don't need to be perfect. And I always say, I'm... I am not Martha Stewart, and I don't pretend to be or try to be. I think she's awesome, but I am never going to be her. <laughs> so, so here I'm just centering my little bunny on there. And then on the other one, I glued a little bit of um, um, cotton ball on for his, for his tail. And so I think I'm just going to do the same thing here. I had a bunny when I was growing up. It was a Angora rabbit. They have all that fur and you have to brush it all the time. And his name was Snoopy. <laughs> and um, he was adorable. He was gray. Um, and he had a really nice hutch. And I keep telling my husband, when we have grandchildren, then I want to get a bunny so that they can, you know, want to go to grandma's house and see the bunny. <laughs> I'll get them over here however I can. Okay, so now this is ready. I'm just going to set this aside and put my craft paper back because now we're going to do the messy part, which is I'm going to do the, um, I think, what is it called? Filigree? No. Well, what I'm going to do is the, let me put these down. Now I'm going to do the gold leafing on here and with this this is the if you saw my video on the hearts I did the ornament hearts they were glass ornament hearts and I bought like a kit for them and this is the kit that I used and it has the varnish and the adhesive and it came with two brushes and it came with a whole bunch of different color foils you can see. So here's a bunch of the silver ones and I'll just, it took more than I expected, I remember. Okay, so I'm going to shake up the adhesive. Okay, this is where I'm going rogue, I guess you could say, <laughs> because the other one, I mean, the directions tell you to put what to mix it with water, but when I do that, it just, it gets too watery in my opinion. So I'm just going, oh, first thing, use gloves. If you possibly have gloves use gloves because it gets really messy and the adhesive will absolutely stick to your fingers oh my gosh why am i looking this making this look hard <laughs> okay so here we go so this is the adhesive so i'm just gonna do a little at a time i'm not even pouring it into anything i'm just going to spread it on with the, the little paintbrush and I'm getting the side of it too um, because I want it to wrap around so I'm just going to set my brush down and then you just take the sheet of of metallic paper that you have and you're just going to lay it on your surface 
I'm pushing that down because I'm wrapping it around and then just pull it off and the way I did that one which I like it is I didn't cover every spot I kind of did it roughly so that it gave almost I'll show you again so it gave sort of a I don't know speckly speckle speck speckled <laughs> not speckled but you can see what I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna keep doing this I will speed this up so you not have to watch once I get through with well I'll show you once I get through with this what we do next with the other brush but this is what I'm gonna do for now I'm just gonna go all the way around the surface of it with the silver paper leaf paper <laughs> and then I will come back and tell you what we do next right now but what we're gonna do is brush it off with the other I'm actually gonna take one more piece just for any extra little laces that I missed if you like the contents of my videos mistakes and all <laughs> please um, subscribe and hit the little subscribe button and then if you also hit the bell button it will um, let you know when I when I put on a new video and also if you happen to like this video um, just click the little thumbs up and let me know that you liked it and I would love your comments anytime um, I'm sure there's some experts in gold leafing that would probably like to tell me what I'm doing wrong <laughs> and then there's definitely cricket people who are gonna help me out I'm sure but actually I'm gonna I'm going to um, make some more things with Cricut and I promise I will get good at it. <laughs> okay, so that's it for, for that part. Now I'm just taking, like I said, I'm just taking the, the dry brush and I'm just going over it to take all the flakes off of it that are still on there and kind of flatten it down and it just makes it look finished. And then I'm going to let it dry and then come back and show you um, when we varnish it, it also makes it really come together and look like it's like the surface is just like this and it's um, it just finishes it off nicely. Um, also, I wanted to mention that you can watch another video I did with the gold leafing and that was for the hearts the glass heart ornaments that I did for Valentine's Day and it just shows you how you can do oh I just want a little bit more right there it shows you how you can do um, just the surface of in, like any surface you can use glass and do the gold leafing and they turned out really pretty I put them in a vase and just used the, all the different metallics on it and I really really liked those so I'll put the link below for you to watch that one if, you, if you're interested. Did I just pull more off of it? Jeez, Teresa. Yeah, now I'm stuck with everything. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off right now and 
clean this up a little bit and then we'll come back and varnish it and finish up our project and then I'm going to show you some exciting some exciting things and then I'm going to show you some exciting things I found at a thrift store and what we're going to do with them in another video because I I promised I was going to start making things with some thrift store items and flea market items and that's exactly what we're going to do so I'll show you that when we come back We've let this dry. Now I'm going to use this um, water-based varnish on it. And again, I believe this says to thin it, but I don't. <laughs> you can. So I'm just going to paint over all of what we did. And it kind of gives it like a milky color over it but it just it dries, dries clear just like Mod Podge or Elmer's Blue anything like that so so I love the way this turned out I think it's really cute so you could use this for um what am I doing I'm varnishing the <laughs> my other one <laughs> Here we go. I was thinking, oh, I should have taken the glass out of it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to keep that one in. That was stupid. <laughs> okay, here I am. Now I'm furnishing it. Oh, man. That was crazy. That was what my husband would call a blonde moment. <laughs> All right. So these would be a great gift. Um your Easter for a teacher or for your friend or relative or just keep it for yourself they're really cute and I'm kind of happy I messed up the well I didn't mess it up for whatever reason my file was corrupt but I'm kind of happy that was kind of a happy accident because now I have this set of two and I think it's even cuter this way Okay, so this is going to be set to dry. I'm going to show, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like um, at the end and next to the other one when it's all put together. But for now, I want to show you this. So this was like a candle holder. Like you, I'm assuming you put a big candle right here. So I'm going to do some something with that, and I'm going to do make this into something that's not. A candle holder so <laughs> so you're gonna have to tune in for that one okay now I'm just going to let this dry for one second and well for a couple minutes then I'm gonna come back and show you the finished products and then we'll be off okay I'm back to finish this off just want to show you so this is the one I made today and I want to get it so it's not glaring and then this is the one from yesterday and so they're cute they were super easy you saw they were you know if you have the foil and the foil kit then I mean this project was like a dollar literally um, I just used some scraps of fabric and some cardstock I had and a cotton ball <laughs> and so that was it for these and I think they look really cute so I hope you like them I hope you liked all of it and I hope you join me next time because I will be making more videos um, on Easter and I'm going to change this into something else. <laughs> so I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye.